we're fortunate enough to have a, a wide array of ages in the Eagle Street Initiative, um, everywhere from you know teenagers up through folks in their 70s. Um, and so everyone has their own unique networks to reach out to. And that was something that we really capitalized on in terms of our outreach mechanisms, um, where you had people that were willing to go door to door to businesses, were willing to go to the banks and actually ask them you know, to help support these projects, uh, you know, to really get them as kind of the, the larger uh, keystone contributors. Um, but then uh, at a very grassroots level, we did some very interesting things. Um, one of the vendors on the street is actually a hot dog um, stand and they contributed 150 hot dogs and we had a hot dog eating competition. Um, and each participant had to fundraise a certain number of dollars to participate in the competition. And so that, you know, right there, we raised $1,500 through the hot dog eating competition, but we also created a viral campaign for the video that we produced. Um, I also did a, I ate an entire large pizza myself and uh, I required myself to fundraise $250 before I would do so. And I ate it on uh, YouTube dressed as Cookie Monster. Um, and so it was these, these kind of crazy wonky things um, but what they did is they inspired uh, different groups of people that may not have contributed or even thought about this project to now have it highlighted on their you know, social media networks and the different feeds that they're paying attention to because it did kind of, um, it was off kilter, it was out of the ordinary and outside the box.